Hey, it's been quite some time. Uh, in fact, it's been several, several months since the last time I did one of these video blogs. Uh, I think the last one was literally days before uh, this camera here kind of crapped out on me. Uh, if you've seen my second, I think, cell vlog that I have up, you'll see what I did to kind of fix it. I don't know how I fix it, but it works now. It works like a charm. I'm very thankful for that. Um, so obviously, um, this past week I got two two new reviews out, uh, Mario Kart DS and Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Uh, by the time this is uploaded, I will have, uh, I think, three new reviews uh, as well as this video. Um, one of the main things that I, I, I talk about, it, that I had talked about months ago, was my, my hope to finish my Final Fantasy VII guide uh, by August 15th. Uh, that did not happen. Uh, I actually finished it completely for the first full uh, version 1.0, oh, um, 1.00. The first full complete version was done on September uh, 18th, this, you know, two weeks ago. Uh, I submitted it to Game FAQs, half expecting it to be rejected, just mainly due to the fact that in order for it to be accepted, not only does it have to be on par with the guides already there, it has to have something unique, uh, but the chances of rejection are still there because of the fact that there's an oversaturation of guides. And, of course, it was rejected. Uh, not due to any kind of, uh, gr uh, I don't know how to word this. It wasn't rejected because of the content or the way that I wrote it. The issue was that, again, too many guides, it would not be fair to other guides who are equally well written if my guide got in and theirs didn't. So I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, I wish they would have accepted it, but, you know, I kind of, you know, I kind of knew that was going to happen. Um. With that being said, you guys are going to be able to, to see it. Uh, I'm working with a friend right now to turn it into a PDF format and host it on his site. So I'll definitely give you guys a link to that when and if it is uh, up. Uh, I'm also currently getting ready to print it for my own copy. Uh, it's coming in at, I think, 246 pages. So 13 months of my life... Uh, okay, not not all those, not every day was spent working on it, but a lot of time, uh, I did spend a lot, a lot of hours working on this, and it took me, you know, a year and a month to get it done, uh, considering it was my first guide. I'm very proud of what I, uh, I, I got accomplished. Um, so, there's the update on my Final Fantasy VII walkthrough. It's done. Uh, I'm in the final, uh, getting it to where I want to put it, and I'm proud of myself. Um, moving on, there are a lot of games that I've been playing recently. Obviously, the ones I'm, I've reviewed and you'll have the reviews of. Um, there are a lot of games that I have intentions of playing that I just haven't gotten around to yet. For instance, uh, The City of Final Fantasy came out uh, a month ago. Um, I never picked it up mainly because I already have the Japanese version, but mainly because I don't want to drop 40 bucks on Dissidia when I'm having a lot of time, a lot of fun playing, uh, you know, six, six to ten dollar PS1 games on my PlayStation. So, uh, there's a lot of things, you know, getting towards the end of the year, games that are going to be coming out uh, that I'm going to pick up, like Dissidia and the God of War collection. Oh my god, I'm looking forward to that. Especially since now it comes with a voucher to play and download the demo of God of War 3 that was at E3 this year. So I'm really excited about that. Um, beyond Christmas and all that into next year, uh, the games I'm really looking forward to are, of course, God of War 3, Final Fantasy 13, and and uh, a surprising one is Pokemon Soul Silver. Uh, it's one of my Silver was one of my favorite Pokemon games. Uh, if not my favorite Pokemon game, and I'm really looking forward to that, and I can't wait until till it until it comes out. So uh, that's something I'm keeping my eyes on. Um, Final Fantasy VIII. I'm not a fan of it, but it is. Uh, it was um, news of it came that in Japan it came out on the PlayStation Network. 
So that means chances are it will come out over over here uh, on the PSN. Uh, so if that's the case, maybe Final Fantasy IX will come out. Uh, if that is, I will definitely pick it up. I, I That's my second favorite Final Fantasy. Um, I did think about doing a nine a guide for nine like uh, what i did for seven but a f good friend of mine and a buddy of his uh they're overseas right now fighting for our country go them um they're already working on one potentially so i'm probably i'm, I'm tired of doing i'm exhausted from the, the whole walkthrough writing uh uh thing so i'm probably not going to do that uh, I am thinking about doing a kind of, you know, let's play Final Fantasy IX or let's play this or let's do that using a camera or some kind of uh, video capturing software. That's an idea that's been in my head for a while. I think I, I think I mentioned this long, long, long time ago. Uh, but again, it's still something in the back of my mind. Um, speaking of the PlayStation Network, rumor has it that Sony was considering porting all of the PS2's uh, games to the PSN. Uh, I can't confirm or deny that, and I really wish that some kind of confirmation would come out about it. If that's true, I'm stoked. I'm really ecstatic about that. Um, that would be awesome. Um, there's a lot of games that I didn't have a chance to pick up when they came out, uh, like Ico, for instance. It's like 80 to 100 plus dollars for a brand new copy. And I'm hoping that they release it on the PlayStation Network. Um, but, you know, that's it. I don't have much else to say. Uh, you guys know what's been going on. You know that I've got plans for the future. My camera's working. So you can definitely expect to see more from me in the future. So uh, until then, uh, I bid you guys a wonderful, uh, wonderful day, wonderful week. And, uh... Hopefully I'll be back here in a little while to do another video blog. Later.